Hello friends, today I'm going to file my India income tax for year 2021. Now, as we all know that uh, the last date is December uh, 31st, 2021. So in this video, I'm going to uh, explain to you about the new website. What are the different schedules that you need to select for both resident as well as uh, NRIs? And how do you get the details for your form 16 AS and 26 AS? How do you validate those details and how do you file it? And obviously which ITR form you need to select. So let's start. You go to the eportal.incometax.gov.in. You directly go to the form called file now. So you go there and you say select file now. Then you go to this option, say 2021 and 22, say online recommended, and then you say continue. I've already created a form ITR2 for me, but for your, uh, for, for all of us, I'm going to start a new filing here. You go to the individual, okay, and you go to the continue, and then uh, you, you select which ITR form. So what do you, how do you decide which ITR form is applicable for you? So no need to go for any website uh, or anywhere. You just click here. It, it's a very intuitive process. You just need to select which form is applicable. It tells you about all the details. So they have done a fantastic job in explaining to, uh, to us as a viewer. For example, if you are a resident, then this form is applicable. And if income is less than 50 lakhs, ITR1 is applicable. Go through that. I'm not going to explain everything here. Similarly, ITR4 uh, is for resident Indian. And ITR2 is applicable if you do not have income from business or profession. So generally for NRIs, it's ITR2 which is applicable. And if you, if you are a business or a professional, then your ITR 3 is applicable. If you're still not clear, then you go here. And this is a very good, uh, like an intuitive wizard where you, uh, they will ask you a question. If you say, I'm a non-resident Indian, it will say directly like ITR 1 and ITR 4 is not applicable for you. And it will, it will ask you some more questions. And then eventually, most probably in most likelihood, it will be ITR 2 for you guys, for the NRIs. So I will go back. I'm not going to do everything again here. So I'll go back, I'll say file now. I'll go back 2021-22, online recommended model. Go to continue. I'm going to do my resume filing because ITR2 is applicable for my case. Now, once you do that, you will see that there are some bad default, some schedules are selected for you. Now, these schedules are nothing but different forms which will be attached to your filing of India income tax and uh, something may be applicable for you some may not be applicable for you so if for example if you're a non-resident indian and you do not have a salary okay then select one way is that you select everything and then you deselect everything so that everything is deselected and then you select only those things which is applicable for you now in case if uh, you don't have any income right from anywhere just just say deselect and you say confirm continue here it will automatically be disabled from your uh, disabled from your portal now it will ask you again many times there's a new tax regime 115 bsc is applicable for you not i have selected no because i do not have any ha loss from a housing property and generally people should select this one i'll make another elaborate video around this one when you have a loss from housing property and you want to leverage the lower tax rate for your tax labs. But if you have a very straightforward non-resident Indian, then you should select no here. You go to the no, and then for for me, it is all no. I know about it. I've already done that. I'm just doing, redoing it again for you guys. So I will say continue. And then it's again going to ask me about deductions. So there's no ATC for me, no ATC CD for me, ATD, ATE, nothing is applicable for me. So it's uh, again, you know, this site is so wonderfully good as compared to the last year. It's very intuitive and it's, it will tell you that, hey, we have already pre filled return based on the information provided with the income tax department. You say, OK, and I've already submitted all the information here. That's why it's saying a confirmed year. But again, all these schedules which are applicable for you, select those. Even in the schedule, there are certain sections which may not be applicable for you. So deselect that. Otherwise, I have seen some scenarios earlier. I was confused because it was asking me about the capital gains and I literally have no capital gains. So what I did is that I went to the schedule and deselected the capital gain option under the income and then it, that option went away for me. Another thing I want to share with you guys is for the TDS. Now, this is one of the 
critical thing that we all should understand and let's say compute not computation where is that see sometimes it become confusing with okay personal information income after set bfl ccfl nothing is compared amt okay tax credit okay let's see what is my tax credit do you have any tax credit here no i don't see i don't see any tax credit so it's a, it's more of a confirmation i need to provide a confirmation here okay okay computation of a total income here uh, tax credit deduction okay let me go to the schedule here in case you miss it say go to your schedule here deduction tax here and you go to the income oh see i, I miss this thing i got my uh, i got my interest from the bank so i forgot to select this one so that's why it was not coming here so you go here to the schedule income and if uh, if you have an income here in my case is the bank interest you just select this one schedule other sources and deselect everything else and then you go here and say continue say continue continue no continue continue and i hope it will be all done now continue okay finally it's a continue now let me see my what my income is showing here computation of a total income okay uh, deduction under chapter 68 and uh, income of the detail here you go see schedule income from other sources let's go here now it is it is showing literally showing uh, nothing from my case now why it is showing nothing from my case because uh, i have not submitted to go went to the bank and submitted e file now the so once you go to your bank be it icici bank or hdfc bank or the city bank you go to your bank say e file my return then the information will flow from a banking portal to the income tax department then you should be able to see that how much uh, tds has been deducted from your case you should be able to see that here i am going to do that right away earlier it was coming but i think i removed that that's why that information has been erased so i'm going to do it again and sometimes the information is already flown back to your system so once you are all done here you go to the proceed to verification here and then you should be able to see everything and then you should be able to confirm the tax now again i'm curious to know that why this is not coming here and again this is more of a intuitive uh, details of interest and income let's see why it is not coming income so i'll go to my bank and then let's see what will happen here so i'm going to the bank and then i'm going to confirm it and i should be able to do it i'm going to post another video of it once i go to the bank and then you'll take it from there thank you for watching and just watch the second part so that i can show you the completion of my income tax thank you thank you for watching